Om Shanti, we are doing the recording of 24th of September, got very busy yesterday with counselling and other things and got the time today to do this recording. So we are still there in Delhi and tomorrow I'll be leaving for Darjeeling with God's grace, with His guidance, with His safety and protection. And God wants us to conquer Maya. Now Maya over here means any kind of virus within our thoughts. Any kind of impure thoughts, any kind of waste thoughts, any kind of defect in our thinking is Maya. So generalizing it would be like saying that lustful thoughts, angry, greedy, egoistic, jealous thoughts are Maya. So he wants us to gain victory over Maya and be victorious in the world. Because the whole world, 100% of the world is full of these thoughts. And anybody who can win over the impure thoughts and come out clean... That soul can reach up there. That means where we have come from. So let's see what is the method and how do we make our mind peaceful and powerful and live a beautiful life right now. So God over here says, may you be a conqueror of Maya and a conqueror of the world. Now conqueror of the world is not like literally physical with tanks and bombs. Not that. He is talking about the world is at war, but there is an inner war which needs to be fought, not that physical war. The inner war is between the right and the wrong, the pure and the impure, the beautiful and the ugly thoughts. So God then says, gaining victory over Maya's power with the powers of knowledge and yoga. So with the powers of knowledge and yoga. Now, so this divine knowledge which we have been sharing for the past couple of years, I think it's going to be two years now very soon. That the blessing channel has started and is going on with God's grace, with His light and power. Until the time I, the soul, am in this body, I'll be continuing to do it with His power, with His guidance. So till we have been talking about Maya for a very long time. And we have been talking about how knowledge and yoga is important. So this knowledge which we have been talking about, this knowledge is what we gain at Brahma Kumaris. It's a spiritual knowledge given in a spiritual university, a godly spiritual university, unlike any other universities in the world. Because see, the other universities are preparing people to do jobs and earn money. This university is preparing people when they are in their jobs to face criticism, to face dilemmas, to face judgment problems, to face any kind of jealousy or any kind of anger in the world and stay stable which is not being taught by any university in the world so then god over here says in this beautiful knowledge that in the world there is the power of science right we have the technology even this phone and the laptop in front of me it's using and we are using it for this beautiful knowledge to be shared Power of science, the power of government is also there and the power of devotion is also there, right? However, you have the power of knowledge and the power of yoga. Power of knowledge means what is the right and what is the wrong? What is the true knowledge? When did we come on this earth? Where we came from? What are we going to do on this earth? And what is the, what is the future of this world? Everything is there with us in this knowledge. And the power of yoga means you are connected. You are connected with the supreme creator. Yoga means union. These are the most elevated powers. The power of yoga enables you to be victorious over Maya for all time. You see, I am also a yoga teacher and I believe through my experiences that doing all the different asanas, whether it is Bhujang Asana, whether it is Surya Namaskar, it doesn't make you overcome anger. It doesn't make you overcome jealousy. It doesn't make you overcome any kind of hatred. Yes, it cools down, calms down your body and thus your mind feels calmer and quieter as compared to having a backache and sitting in your office and feeling irritated all the time. So it does help you because it's a part of yoga which is known as Hatha Yoga, physical yoga but then we need Raja Yoga, a spiritual guidance where we need to think purely and have control and do asanas of the mind. Way to mold, when to mold, in what way to mold our thoughts so as to maintain and retain the state of peace in our mind. That a yoga is different. So God says, Maya's power is nothing in front of this power. Souls who are conquerors of Maya cannot be defeated even in their dreams. They cannot have any kind of ill thoughts, evil thoughts, impure thoughts. Even their dreams are powerful. 
that means even in the dreams they are seeing themselves helping people out solving people's problems guiding people and accomplishing their tasks with discipline and with all the qualities and all the virtues a powerful ray so constantly remain aware that you souls who have the power of yoga are constantly victorious and will then always be victorious now this has to be a feeling not just a thought that i am victorious i am a powerful victorious soul no it has to come into the feelings and we can only bring it into the feelings when we keep on saying it with a complete heart with complete belief just repeating the thoughts is not enough over here and that's what we learn in brahma kumari is that it's not about repetition of thoughts affirmations are not repetitions affirmations with feelings stand no value so meditation is all about having your feelings cleansed your not just your thoughts your feelings cleansed your focus is on your feelings and thoughts are already taken care of that is a reverse psychology i understand that because the whole world is saying think positive think powerful and nobody is saying feel positive feel powerful so you see there's a difference so we are focusing on the feelings and automatically the thoughts are taken care of how to do that is what you learn in brahma kumaris and you can join me you can write to me in my whatsapp number 8918520787 because we are going to have a one day i'm again saying we're going to have a one day one hour session on the raj yoga meditation it's an introductory session all the people are welcome there are some people who have already joined already sent me google forms are writing down google forms and we are building up a team of like minded people and the pure knowledge is going to be shared over there in details so with this om shanti